What's up, YouTube? It is your boy JB, and we are back with another review. Now, this is for Baddies ATL. This is season one, episode seven. The episode is titled You and All Your Bull. Now, it is getting dark, you guys. Like I said in the last video, it's starting to rain. That don't even help nothing. It's starting to rain, but you guys can still see me. It ain't that dark. But yeah, it's raining nonetheless. So, without further ado, actually, before we do that, um, you guys. If you're watching this video or any other video on the channel and you're not already subscribed to the channel then do me a favor and hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell button hit the like button and let's go ahead without further ado and get into this review shall we all right guys so i will say this episode of baddies ato was pretty good i didn't get annoyed at all in this episode it was a really decent episode so i do know that i do know that baddies atl is not airing an episode next week i think everything that we review We'll be off for the 4th of July. So we won't be back until July 11th. Oh, God. July. <laughs> oh, God. My Sunday night. The hell. I just thought about it. July 11th. Real Housewives of Potomac. Baddies ATL. Married to Medicine Reunion. Oh, my God. The Shy. Oh, my God. That's four videos right there. Whoo. We Gina. But, yeah. Um, so yeah, this episode, we see Natalie, she's working, she's working out, and then Sarah comes in there, and I was like, oh my god, what the hell is that on Sarah's head? That wig look like, I mean, did she go, did she go and borrow that wig from Judy? <laughs> the wig was terrible, terrible. <coughs> so Sarah is playing the victim at this point. Sarah is talking about her finger is fractured. Well, her finger's fractured. I'm not going to talk about her. I'm not saying that she's playing the victim with her finger being fractured. She was playing the victim when it came to her nail. Talking about the nail is stuck in, in her cuticle. Okay, Sarah. What are we supposed to do with that? I'm glad Natalie said something. She said, Sarah, it's the wig for me. I was like, thank God. But Natalie, your wigs ain't no better. But it looked better than that shit that was on Sarah's head. Now, my whole thing with Sarah is, Sarah, I get it. You got into a fist fight with Seven. But much like, um, you know, they were saying in last week's episode. Number one, how did you not see it coming? Number two, Seven gave you multiple warnings to shut up. But you didn't heed her warnings. So you kept running your mouth. And Seven got tired of hearing you running your mouth. So Seven said, square up. Or not. Whichever one you want to do. I don't really give a damn. Because I'm going to pop you. And that's what happened. So then we see Seven. So Seven went into Janelle's room. And she's having a conversation with Janelle. About the whole situation with Sarah. Seven's thing is. You know. She she says she likes Sarah on her season. Which I love. I like Sarah on her season too. Because nobody else on Sarah's season. At Bad Girls Club 11. Really had any, any redeeming qualities. Because that was the jump a whole season. I mean what. Who who was on Sarah's season? Who was on Sarah's original season? I think I can remember Sarah's season. So it was Sarah. It was I'm I'm, I'm going in order. Well, not, not really. It was Sarah. It was Mimi. It was um, Shanae. It was Tiana, Jazz Monet, Stephanie, Gigi, Janelle, Tess. The girl with the tattoos. I can't remember what her name was. Teresa. Teresa. Benzi. Benzi. And there was another girl. I think her name was Haley. Is that correct? My BGC heads who know everything about BGC. Let me not believe that was it. Because that season had a lot of freaking girls. I remember that. But out of all the girls that was on Sarah's season, Bad Girls Club Miami, season 11, Sarah was one of my favorites of that season. Actually, Sarah, Sarah was my favorite. I actually liked Janelle on her season. I really did like Janelle on her season because Janelle didn't back down from the girls. <coughs> and I think that's what it was to me with season 11. If you didn't back down to those, those jumping ass girls, I rocked with you. And that was Sarah and that was Janelle. And then, like I said, you know, Gigi, when she came in, I wanted to like her, but she was all up the girl's butt. So, yeah, no. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Sorry to cough in y'all face. 
So, like I just said a few minutes ago about, you know, Sarah. Janelle said the same thing. Seven gave Sarah umpteenth warnings to stop. But then she kept going. Now, Seven, I got an issue with you with this part right here. Because someone told me that your dad is white. Because you keep talking about, you know, with, with Sarah, you know, white girls are notorious for calling the cops. In every season that Sarah has been on with Bad Girls Club, that she's got into a fight. She's never once called the cops. She's never once threatened to, you know, sue production or anything like that. The only people that I know in Bad Girls Club history that have ever did that, and I didn't watch their season, was the Claremont twins and their friend. What is her name? Jayla? I don't know. Like I said, BGC, anything past BGC 12, I don't know anything about it. But I do know that I've heard that over the years that the twins and Jayla did they try did they try to sue oxygen or did they try to sue the product something happened with their stuff you guys can let me know what happened with their stuff I don't know did the girls like bleach state things or stuff like you guys really can let me know about that one because I don't know what happened to this twin stuff in BGC 14 but yeah but from Sarah Sarah and like I said Sarah has been on multiple seasons season 11 Sarah never once mentioned calling the cops or doing anything, you know, to retaliate against the girls. She fought with the girls. Now, season 13, I don't know what happened between she and Rocky. I do know that she and Rocky had a fight in season 13 because I saw the trailer. But I don't know what happened between she and Rocky in season 13. But like I said, from what I know of Sarah, Sarah's never been one to, you know, threaten production or anything. Now, you got if she has, you guys can definitely let me know. Because I don't know everything BGC. But let's move on, you guys. All right, guys. Next, let's talk about Christina, right? So, Sydney went into Christina's room. Christina was getting her makeup done. Now, this is Sydney's glam squad that's doing her makeup. I was like, oh, my God. Please don't let us have another situation about makeup. Like, please don't. My thing with Christina is I get it. You don't want to go through Natalie. That's fine. No one's saying go through Natalie for hair and makeup. But, and Christina did make a, val- a very, very valid point in her discussion with, you know, the, when she talked to the producers. She made a very valid point. These hair and makeup people are not exclusive to any of these women. Hell, that's in real life. Like, hair and makeup, they're not exclusive to just you. Yeah, you may pay them to do your hair and makeup, but... They also can have other clients outside of you. So I got where I got that I, I got that where you know um she's coming from. But girl, the issue that I have is why don't you just say, hey Sydney, you know, are you through getting your hair and makeup done with your people? And it's, you know, Sydney say, Oh yeah, girl, I'm done. She's like, Well, and then you can say, Well, can I, you know, is it okay? Well, you don't even have to ask, is it okay if I use them? Just say, hey, Sydney, are you, are, you know, are you through with your hair and makeup? And once Sydney say, yeah, girl, I'm done with hair and makeup. And then you'll say to them, well, hey, since you're through with Sydney, do you mind doing my hair and my makeup? I'll pay you, you know, I'll pay you whatever your rate is. And it'd be that. <coughs> <coughs> That's what they could do. But I don't know. And I, I'm glad that she did say that, though, because these hair and makeup people are not exclusive to you. Yeah, you know, yeah, they might be somebody that you're familiar with and they do your hair and makeup on a regular, but they're not exclusive to you. Like they have, they can have other clients besides you. So now sitting at, um, in this episode, <coughs> Sydney let us know that she has an issue with Janelle. <coughs> it's getting hot in this car. Okay. So Sydney, honestly, I feel like when it comes to Sydney, Sydney just wants to have an issue with whoever is there to have an issue with. Cause that's, I mean, she she's had an issue with Judy. Then you had you, you have an issue with Janelle because of the the last time y'all had a group conversation, and Janelle chimed in. I mean, it is what it is. So then they get a text message from Natalie. Natalie tells them that they're going to be doing some kind of field day activity. And then boxing is going to be involved. So with the boxing that's involved, it's for most, it's more specifically for Judy and for Sydney. Now you guys remember, 
Judy doesn't want to be in the same room with Sydney anymore. And what they're going to do is they're going to box for that room and whoever loses goes up to the attic. Now, I'm sorry. Y'all are not putting me in no attic. Who, who in the... You're not putting me in the attic, period. You're not going to put me in no attic. You you might not even put me... I'll, I'll be reluctant to a basement. But an attic? Is there a bed up there? I, first of all, no. I don't uh, know. Why I got to be secluded? Whatever. It was stupid to me. So, Natalie played a trick on Tanisha. She told Tanisha that the girls were fighting. So, she told Tanisha that she needed to rush over. Now, when Tanisha got there, Tanisha was in her feelings. Somebody, she just she was in a meeting that Natalie interrupted. I was like, a meeting? Okay, Tanisha. For the last few episodes, you've been in meetings with people. Because the episode when you came over to the house, because it was the next, it was the day after, um, you know, uh, Christina and uh, Natalie had fought. You were in the meeting at that point. How many meetings have you been to, T? I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not saying that you went in meetings, but what kind, what kind of meetings are you in? And okay, whatever. But Tanisha pulls up to the house. She was pissed. Now, when she pulled up to the house, I will, I will give it to Tanisha. She, Cause she was like, "What the hell is this, Natalie?" Even I was on the same page. Like, girl, what in the hell is this? When you pull up to the house, you got this. You see this mechanical bull. Then you see a, a child's bouncy house. I'm like, girl, are we having a party for a five year old? Like, what the hell? So Natalie said that the the bouncy house is for you know the girls to box in Judy, and um. Judy and uh Sydney, right? <laughs> then the, the mechanical bull, for the life of me, when she kept explaining that mechanical bull, I did not understand what the hell she was talking about. She was talking about these girls talking about who got the wet, who got the wet or pussy. I was like, what? And who who rides the dick bed? I'm like, wait a minute, y'all are literally in a house with each other, talking about who rides dick better, and whose pussy is wetter. Why? Do y'all low-key want to sleep with each other? Do y'all want to have a threesome with somebody? Why is that the topic of conversation? Whose pussy's wetter? And who rides the dick better? Okay, whatever. Now, Judy can miss me with this shit. So, Judy's talking about that Sydney is very disrespectful. When I'm like, girl, you've been disrespectful as hell to her. You've made transphobic comments in the first in the first few episodes. You've made transphobic comments, but <clears throat> she's a disrespectful one. Okay, Judy, whatever. Now, also, Judy doesn't want to get into the bouncy house with Sydney and fight with her. Do I blame her? Actually, no, I don't. <clears throat> so then Natalie and Tanisha, they get into the bouncy house, right? They do a little bit until Tanisha felt... She fell and the house just tumbled with her. I was like, oh shit. I was like, oh shit. Well, you know, she was okay. Um, So they asked, you, know, you guys remember, I just said, Judy doesn't want to fight with Sydney. I'll give it to her. I wouldn't want to fight with her either. I just really wouldn't want to fight with the girl because she's just too unpredictable for me. So I didn't, I didn't blame Judy. So they were like, who wants to, you know, step in for Judy? We're going to pause here, we're going to wrap the episode up, and we're going to talk about who stood in for Judy. Alright, you guys, so to wrap the episode up, like I said, overall, the episode was better than the last one. This is actually one of the better episodes, because in this episode, the girls are not fighting with each other, the girls are not, and I think that was what it was, is just the fact that they are not fighting with each other. Like, it would it would be, I would, you know, I would really enjoy this <clears throat> I enjoy the show for what it is, but I would enjoy it more <coughs> if it actually had a purpose, number one. And number two, if it wasn't like, if I didn't feel like they were trying to recapture some moments from Bad Girls Club and, you know, if they could do something like a Real Housewives of Atlanta-esque, basketball-esque, basketball wives-esque thing, I'd be here for it. Or anything, or even something like BT Presents the Encore. I would be a little bit here for it, but this, eh, 
But this episode, like I said, was better. <clears throat> so Janelle and Sydney, they're the ones that battled. Sydney got a lot of mouth. I will say that Sydney has a lot of mouth. I don't think Sydney will bust a grape in Welsh's backyard. I don't think Sydney would bust a grape in a fruit fight in Welsh's backyard. I, I really just don't think Sydney would do that. Like, Sydney just gives me, I'm all talk, but I'm not about that action. That's what Sydney gives me. So then Seven and Christina, they have a little thing, and Seven wins that one. So with with um, Janelle winning with Sydney, Sydney is now going up to the attic. So then we see them all ride that bull. Okay, I could have written them without that scene, but it, it was it was fun. It was nice to see the girls actually have fun in this episode. It was like that's what y'all need to do. Like, it doesn't have to be all the drama, and it really doesn't have to be the fight, and that's really what it doesn't have to be. Drama is cool. But as long as we can offset that with some, some y'all having some fun times, I'd be here for it. So then after they ride the bull, you know, we see um, Sarah. So Sarah goes to Seven's room. Now, I will say, as much as Sarah does get on my nerves on this show, <coughs> I thought that was big of her. I thought it was big of her to go to um, Seven's room. So she and Seven have a conversation, right? And Sarah, as soon as she walked in there, Sarah made it about Sarah. Sarah's talking about the fact that, you know, um, her hair got pulled. Sarah talks about the fact that her finger is fractured. Sarah talks about the fact that her nail got stuck into her cuticle. Sarah even pulled out her paperwork. I was like, Sarah, it ain't that deep, love. I get it. You got into a fight. We get it. Nobody's saying that, you know, what Seven did was right. And even Seven said what she did wasn't right. Seven says she doesn't know how to argue with people because she... You know, she'll cry. Um, Seven, maybe you should. I, I know you don't want to cry because you might not want to look weak or vulnerable. But there's nothing wrong with that. Have an argument with people and be like, you know, I'm getting heated. And, you know, when I get heated, I cry. Nothing's wrong with that. But she says she needs to learn how not to hit people. I agree with you, boo. So they both apologize to each other. And, they, and you know, Sarah feels like people were in their ear. More specifically, Natalie. You're correct about that. <coughs> Natalie. Natalie was. um <coughs> Oh, God, it's getting hot in this car again. Natalie. She was being, a, um, you know, she was being, a, a, you know, a Esther. But, yeah, they apologize to each other. So they're good to move forward. But that's actually the episode, you guys. Like I said, once again, I did enjoy the episode. So be sure to like this video. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop anything else. Share this video. Stay safe, you guys. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Wear your mask if you choose not to. Be safe. Be blessed. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.